Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Today is mini day. We are going to be doing 15 plus different ideas for miniature farmhouse decor. So this first idea is just taking these circular wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree to make a medium mini tiered tray. I'm going to be using chalk paint and I'm not distressing these. I wanted just a nice clean white tray, um, but feel free to distress the edges if you wanted or even to come back in with some burnt umber and go around the edges. Do whatever you want. These are just ideas. I'm taking some wooden beads that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and on one of the circular wooden pieces I'm going to hot glue four of these wooden beads and that's going to be my feet for the tray. Now this tray I said is a medium mini. <laughs> I am going to be doing a mini mini in this video also so this is going to be so much fun. I gave the top and the bottom coats of the chalk paint and like I said, I think I did two coats. I wanted just a white tray and two coats was perfect. So to make the centerpiece of this tray, I'm using wine corks and I put a piece of toothpick in between the wine corks and then used hot glue that way that they would stay secure and stand straight up and down. I don't know, I just, you can use whatever your little heart desires for this part. I just thought it would be kind of cool to have wine corks be the stem of this tray. So we're going to sit that aside to dry once it's all put together. I used hot glue, but you might want to use E6000. I knew what I was putting on my tray was definitely not going to be heavy, so hot glue um, worked. If you want to make this a little bit more sturdy, I would use super glue, E6000, Loctite, just some kind of more durable glue for this part. Um, it's just easier for me for video purposes, of course, to use hot glue to show you how to do this. Now, this is a video. I'm going to be doing a project, letting it dry, going on to the next, coming back. I hope that's not too confusing. I don't think it will be. Dollar Tree had these little mini, 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 mini frames. They are so adorable. They're size two by three. I got four of them and they are like bright white so I didn't even need to paint them which is always a bonus. So we're just going to make these look a little bit more farmhouse and I'm going to make a little mini mini tray <laughs> out of this and I'm going to use some popsicle sticks. I'm going to use the insert from the picture frame and put that on top of five of my little popsicle sticks and that'll be my guide of where to cut. Then I'm going to cut each of these sticks and I'm going to put them back in the frame, put the backing back on the frame, pull the um, part off of the back of the frame that would be the stand because we don't need that and we're going to turn this into a mini mini tiered tray. How stinking cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love this. You don't have to paint, it gives that wooden effect. It is so cute, so easy to do. I absolutely love these little mini mini album or <laughs> picture frames. And then I'm just gonna take I don't even know what this next piece is called. I got a pack of four from Hobby Lobby. They kind of look like feet. Um, they're bigger at the bottom on one end, but I thought this would be perfect to put in between these for the middle stand to hold these on top of each other. So of course, like I said before, you might want to use something more durable like E6000 or super glue. I just used hot glue. Now when I went to put the top of the tray on, it really was a little wobbly. So I went in my stash and I grabbed four of my beads and I just hot glued those around the stem and that secured it. And then 
I mean, happy accident. It also looked kind of cute because you could see the little wooden beads if you look through the tiered tray. So it all worked out in the end. Mm -hmm. I took those same wooden beads as before and I hot glued a bead to each corner of this tray so that it would have cute little wooden feet on it. It's so cute. It's so farmhouse. It's so mini. <laughs> the great thing about it is there was no painting involved, so I didn't have to wait for anything to dry on my little mini, mini tiered tray. Now we're going to set that aside and we're going to start working on decor to put on these trays. I have a big galvanized W from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would be cute to use a couple W's, um, little wooden W's from Dollar Tree, hot glue them together so that it's a little thicker, and then I just painted them white and came back in and distressed them with a Sharpie. And I thought that mimicked the big big W that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now I told you I had gotten four of these um, photo frames and the other two I'm going to use as decor pieces. So I'm just going to open these up and I'm going to take my favorite shelf paper. It has all these beautiful black flowers on it and I'm going to pick a flower that I like and I'm just going to put it inside the frame. Easy peasy for a miniature little photo picture frame decor piece. It doesn't get much simpler than this. I don't remember if I got that shelf paper from Dollar Tree or Dollar General. It was one of the two places. <laughs> I'm not really, not really sure. I'm kind of thinking Dollar General. I'm not sure. But anyway, cut it to size, put it back in your photo frame, and that's it. Easy peasy simple and it's so cute and it will go perfect on that medium mini tiered tray that I made. How cute is that? So for the next one we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take one of my other little photo frames, cut out one of the flowers that I like. We're going to put it inside of it but this time I'm going to go on my stock pile and I'm going to grab a little wooden five that I got from Dollar Tree. And you know the signs that you can get at Hobby Lobby with the numbers on them for how many people are in your family? So I'm going to mimic that. And I'm just going to take the five and I'm going to paint it white, distress it a little with a Sharpie, and hot glue it to the glass of this little mini picture frame. There's so many options for this. I went white and distressed with a black Sharpie, but if you really wanted this to stand out, you could paint it with some burnt umber, or you could paint the five white and come back in and distress on the sides with some burnt umber or any kind of brown paint you have. You could paint this teal that would really make it pop. You could paint it just your favorite color. I mean, that really, when you have like a white and black background, you can just sky's the limit as what you could paint on this and as I said I just stressed the W also came back in with some hot glue and I just added it to the front of this little mini picture frame It's so cute and it will be the perfect addi addition to my medium mini <laughs> tear tray. Now these I'm pretty sure I got at Dollar Tree. It's a little galvanized hanging decor piece with this cute little bless our home house on it. 
Now I'm definitely saving that galvanized piece because I can use that for a future project. I absolutely love that. But I thought the house just needed to be just kind of jazzed up a little bit. So I took my white paint and at first I was just going to go around the edges. That didn't jazz it up enough for me. So <laughs> I took my little foam paintbrush and I went over the top of it just gently trying to add some white. Well, of course, I added just a little bit too much. So I came back in with my fingers and I just kind of rubbed it in. And actually, it turned out perfect. It was a hint of the a wood showing through. You could still see the words on it. And it was just so cute. So I went into my craft stockpile and I grabbed my little squares I got from Dollar Tree. You get a whole bunch of them in a bag for a dollar. And I just hot glued them to the back so that this would stand upright and what a great little addition to the medium mini tiered tray how many mountains to get some confidence how many debates to earn some tailwind the years pass i'm still the same what will it take Make sure when you're hot gluing the little squares that you're flush with the bottom of the sign. That way it will stand up perfectly. And that way you can put this on your tray. It will stand on its own and you don't have to set it up next to something to keep it straight. So now this is my favorite part of the video, guys. I absolutely love these little miniature bottles. And Dollar Tree has so many different sizes and styles. Some have galvanized lids. Some have little corks. There's four or five different sizes. So we're going to have fun with these little bottles to mimic decor for our trays. Oh my gosh, I love these little bottles. And while I was doing this, I set three of them up next to each other and actually got a different, whole different idea while I was doing this video. But this one that I'm working on right now is my favorite. And all I did was take some painter's tape and taped off where I could paint the bottom of the bottle. You can make this as long or short as you want came back in with my white chalk paint gave it two coats and painted just around the bottom of it and i think this mimics those little vases that everybody makes from like i think pier one sells them but we're doing a little mini version and it's so cute we're gonna set that aside to dry and work on our next bottle now this is one of the tall ones with like the metal lid we're gonna take off the lid and i've been really wanting to do a larger one of these so i'm gonna start on a mini and see how it goes but taking spackle i'm gonna take it and put it all over the outside of this little jar so that it will give it um, a different texture and maybe make it look more like a um going blank as usual what what am i trying to say here um Oh gosh, pot like a maybe a pottery piece. Yeah, I, I'm losing all my train of thought here. Um, you do want to make sure that you're not putting it on the bottom of it because you want this to be able to stand up. So the bottom of it, I'm just keeping it the glass, but I'm taking my spackling and I'm just rubbing it until I get a coat of it going all around the bottle. Then I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to pat it while it's wet and that'll give it a more textured look. To say, please make the string go away Pretender Pretender, tell me what to believe I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying Big spindle, show me how to succeed But what is spreading thin? Ooh, 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 what just remember, if there's any on the bottom, make sure you wipe it off. That way it can stand up. We're going to set that aside to dry and go back to that first bottle and take the tape off of it. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love this little bottle. It's just so easy and just adding a little bit of paint to the bottom is just such a cute little mini. So now I'm having so much fun with these little bottles. We're going to make a little vintage one. And this one is going to go on the mini mini tiered tray. And all I'm going to do is take the lid off. Oh, you know what? Nope. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I got ahead of myself. This one, I, went, I wanted to play around with a different color. I love that one with the white so much that I grabbed my peacock, which was pretty much going dry in the bottle. So it was really thick. <laughs> and if you can see that, it's because it just dried up in there. So I was trying to use as much of it as I could and I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some more but I wanted just a different color on the bottom of this bottle and I love that blue color how cute is that another little mini now for our mini mini tray I had these embellishments from Hobby Lobby and there are clock faces and I thought it would be cute to have a clock on our smaller tiered tray. So I just grabbed a bead out of my stash that was kind of a little bit smaller than the clock face, hot glued it to the back, and that's all you have to do. It stands upright, and you just have, now you have a little mini clock to put on your tray. And then while I was at Hobby Lobby, I got some more embellishments. There was a 50% off sale, of course, so I took advantage of the sale and I just grabbed bags while I was there and put them in my little um, container, my little stockpile. And these, I just love little embellishments and you can get them for like a couple dollars a bag at Hobby Lobby when they're on sale. So I have little keys. I'm going to fill up one of the bottles with these little bitty keys and put some jute string, jute string around the top and hang a key from it. I'm going more vintage farmhouse for the mini mini tray. You'll see it's so cute. If you saw my apothecary collect apothecary jar collection for Halloween, you know how much I love filling bottles and just I just absolutely love taking little bottles and seeing what I can put in them and decorate the front. And while I was doing this project, remember I said I set three bottles next to each other and came up with an idea. So here's the that idea. I took three different size bottles, painted them white. Um, I'm going to be putting the little cork topper in it, and I did leave the top of it looking glass. I just painted the middle white on all three bottles. Then I'm going to come in with a fine tip Sharpie, and I'm going to write coffee, tea, and sugar on these and mimic the Ray Dunn. So stay tuned. Don't go away. But for our next bottle, while those are other three bottles are drying, I took one of like my mini bottles, the smallest one I had, and it had like a metal top. I painted it with the burnt umber to make it look more rustic. And then this is another little embellishment I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to glue this little sign onto the front, screw that top back on, and now you have a cute little vintage bottle. I think this says 47 or 27 on it. It just looks very vintage and it will go perfect with the little bottle that has the keys in it. How cute is this little bottle? It looks so old. Oh my gosh, I love it. So of course we need some beaded garland for our mini mini tiered tray. So I went in my bead collection and I took out two of the darker beads and a bunch of the beige beads. I'm just going to take some string I have, feed it through those beads, and then wrap the string around my finger just two fingers to make little mini tassels. Um, if you're going, I always keep my string, when I'm doing this, I keep it, I don't cut off 
like a length that I want. I keep it all together. That way when I'm feeding the beads, if it starts getting frayed, you can just cut off that piece and keep going. So we're gonna make a little bitty beaded garland here. So cute. And then two little mini tassels for each end. Day. I wanted my tassels to be straight on the ends, so I did add a little bit of hot glue so that they would stay in place, and there it is. So cute! <laughs> I love it. Um, now we're going to go back to the speckled jar. It's dry. I'm just making sure that there aren't too many pointed points, so I just smoothed it out. And I took my chalk paint and I gave it a coat of white chalk paint just to brighten it up. And also, if there was any of the glass showing through, I was trying to cover it. I wish I would have went back and just did a little bit more spackling, but now I know. Now my three jars that I painted white, we're gonna go back. I know I'm doing a lot of flip-flopping. I'm sorry, but things were drying. I wanted to keep going and just, I think you'll understand. Um, I'm writing sugar, tea, and coffee on these. I'm kind of trying to mimic that Ray Dunn font, which is really easy to mimic. Um, you just gotta write skinny. <laughs> And this is a fine tip Sharpie, and these turned out really cute. I put the corks back in them, and they're going to look great on my tray. So you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the other I'm sure if you have like a cameo or a cricket, you probably could do little mini words. I'm not that great at weeding, so I wasn't even going to attempt it. So now going back to those two little jars that are painted white in the peacock, I grabbed some of my lavender and I just cut the stem off of it. And then I started peeling away the leaves until I had a nice tall stem with a little bit of the lavender coming out the top. <laughs> I love, I'm like addicted to miniature crafts now because these were so much fun to do. And it's so much fun to just think outside the box and see what you can come up with. But adding the little lavender just makes these perfect and finishes the craft. And I absolutely love them. Are you guys having fun with minis? If you want some more mini videos, let me know in the comments below. Because I had so much fun, I would love to attempt more minis. And give me an idea of what kind of minis you would like to see. So now we're going to go back and we're going to see everything that I've just created. There's your mini mini shelf with the bead garland, the little clock. That little typewriter was my inspiration. I found that at a thrift store. And that was kind of my inspiration for this video. There's the jar with the keys and the vintage little 47 jar on my mini, mini tiered tray. Um, I have a space in my family room with the shelving unit that I have and it's real narrow. So these fit perfect in that little space. I 
I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you just like I said, that's the real narrow part of my little shelving unit. And I can just fill this up with little minis. <laughs> it's so cute. So now we're going to head over to the medium mini tear tray and look at all the little creations that we made. There's the little frame with the five on it. And there's my favorite little bottle with the white bottom and the lavender. The bless us home sign or bless our home sign and the spackle jar which is so cute and they just it's so cute I also am going to show you um so you could kind of see the scale of this I'm going to go back and I'm going to give you a full view because I have my normal size tiered tray also on my buffet and you can kind of see exactly like how small these actually are but I had so much fun. Can you tell? I'm so excited about this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm going to let you just sit back and look at all the little creations. But I just want to let you know if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well. If you have any ideas for future mini videos or even farmhouse videos or Dollar Tree DIYs, leave those in the comments below. I would love to try to make some things that you guys want to see. Of course, you're why I do this. So give me some ideas. I love y'all. I hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful day. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.